Faraday's law is to determine the magnitude. By using the Faraday's equation, we can find the magnitude of induced EMF. But we also want to know the direction of induced EMF, right? Okay? Uh, so Lenz's law talks about the direction of induced EMF. Uh, what he emphasized is the induced EMF, the direction of induced EMF must oppose the change of magnetic flux. Okay? Oppose the change of magnetic flux. So there are two steps. Yeah? First is there must be a change of flux happening. Change of flux happening, like what I said just now. You see, this magnetic flux, this magnetic flux pass through the area suddenly become a lot, a lot of magnetic flux, right? Uh, so there is a change of magnetic flux happening. Okay? For this case, the flux has increased. Okay? Flux has increased. So there must be a change of magnetic flux. After that, we must oppose the change of flux. Oppose the change of flux. What does it mean? Okay? Uh, so here are two cases I will explain in detail. Okay. First case, uh, let's refer to the first case. This first case, the flux has increased or decreased? Increase. Flux increased, isn't it? Yes. Uh, flux has increased. So please write there. Uh, please write there. From here to here. What is the change of flux? The flux has increases. The flux has increases, isn't it? Now, we must oppose the change. Oppose the change. So, if something increases, I want to decrease back. I want to... I don't want it to increase. The flux is increasing. From 5 flux become... How many flux here? There are so many flux. Okay? Uh, but I don't want it to increase. So I try to decrease that. How to decrease that? Try to oppose it. Have menentang perubahan. Yeah? To oppose. Uh, yeah? To... How to say? Don't want it... Don't... Uh, not allow it to increase. Yeah? Want to reduce that. Okay? When something increases, you try to reduce that. How to reduce? So... How to reduce is... This coil will suddenly produce opposite direction induced flux. Uh, opposite direction. So this this flux, this this is the original flux, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, this is the original flux. But now this this actually also called the external flux. External flux. The external flux has increased. But suddenly this coil will produce its own induced flux. Uh, another flux, the second flux. Okay? But it must be opposite direction. Okay? Uh, produce opposite direction. The original flux is going into the page, right? Going into the page. Uh, so the induced flux will be out of the page. Uh, why opposite direction? Because the flux increase. The flux increase, so you want to decrease back the increasing flux by producing opposite direction flux. When something, when the flux is opposite, they cancel each other. Uh, they cancel each other, so the flux reduce, isn't it? Uh, okay, so we can label this one as the induced flux, which is going out of the page. The next is we use the right hand grid rule to find the induced current. Okay. Uh, the thumb is the induced flux and the finger is the induced current. The finger is the induced current. Okay? Uh, so, the induced flux is going out of the page, right? Yes. Going out of the page. So, your finger is anti-clockwise. So, that means your induced current is anti-clockwise direction. Okay, in anti-clockwise direction. Okay, so look at the second case. Second case, he says that we look at the second case. What has happened to the flux through the area? The flux initially a lot of flux, right? Suddenly the decrease. Okay, the flux. Why is the change of flux happening? 
the flux, the external flux has decreased. Decrease. The external flux decreases. So, to oppose this decrease happening, to oppose the change, how to oppose? When something try to decrease, I try to increase back. Yeah? So that it doesn't decrease. Uh, any changes, it try to oppose. You understand that? Uh, when something decreases, I try to increase back. How to increase? This coil will produce same direction flux to increase back. Uh, same direction. So initial, initial flux is going into the page. So the induced flux will be into the plane also. Yeah? Uh, this is the induced flux into the plane. So when it decreases, this flux try to increase back. This induced flux try to increase back. Uh, okay? So, and then we use our right hand grid rule to find the induced current. Okay? So, yeah, right hand grid rule. So your thumb is going into the page. So your finger is clockwise. clockwise. So this is the induced current. So this is Lenz law. You know? So the Lenz law keyword is oppose the change of flux. So when the flux is increasing, it try to decrease that by producing opposite direction flux. Yeah? When it try to increase, yeah, it produce opposite flux so that it become decrease. Okay? Uh, when something tries to decrease, you try to increase that by producing same direction flux. So any changes, increase, you try to decrease, decrease, you try to increase. Uh, oppose the change. Lah. Okay? That is might mean by oppose the change of flux. Okay? That is Lenz law.